The following stories are real. All suspects are morons until proven otherwise. This is a Came From Evansville Watch. This is my favorite part about Monday. It's been a uh, very exciting week as far as sports go, but now we're going to turn the microscope into the underbelly that is the tri-state. Yes. And we do that with our friends at Evansville Watch. Evansville Watch is a Facebook and Twitter organization. They monitor the police radio here in Evansville, and when something happens, they'll tweet or status update about it and let us know what's happening. Mm -hmm. These are stories you don't always hear about in the paper or on the TV news. Really, just we're the only show reporting on these stories. Sure. Why? I don't know, but I'm happy to be that that one, the one show. So, so, Kat, what has come from Evansville Watch over the past week or so? Um, there's not very much, Rob. It's actually, it's going to be pretty short and pretty sweet. Uh, a shoplifter at Menards on Menard Drive. Female wearing black spandex pants. Stole flooring. And her and a male are loading into a short black bus in the parking lot. Well, Officers on scene. At least she looked good doing it. Right. And they fled in a black bus? Yeah, her pants matched her bus. <laughs> well, that should make finding them pretty easy, I would think. The, yeah, a big black bus or, or a small black bus. Short black bus. I, my adjectives, I'm all over the place. A short black bus. Okay, I'll keep your eyes peeled for that short black bus. Um, the 800 block of Green River Road. Male in a blue puffy jacket. Running up to cars asking for money. Then becomes irate when refused. EPD en route. This is like the very fashion-conscious edition. I, I mean, that guy must look good in the puffy blue jacket. Must have spent all his change on that. Yes. Um, near Beckman in Covert, passerby reported a male standing outside a residence pointing a gun in the air. Collar did not see anyone else around the subject. EPD arriving in the area. Okay. Um, male threatening to harm another male. With a large sword, 1,400 block of Garvin, EPD arriving. With a sword? With a sword. You know, what's funny about that is... Everybody was kung fu (laughs) One of the Power Rangers got arrested for doing that this weekend. It was a former Red Power Ranger. Yeah, one of the Red Power Rangers... Rodrigo? Rod... I can't remember I've got it over here. I don't remember his name either, but one of the Red Power Rangers from the show, in real life, stabbed his roommate with a sword? And killed him. Oh, and killed oh him. Oh, my gosh. Ricardo <laughs> Ricardo Medina Jr. He was arrested in a, a fatal attack using a sword on his roommate. Like he was arrested for murder. Do you guys have swords handy? Am I the weird one for not having swords handy? I have like six. You do? No. <laughs> I was going to say, that would shock me. <laughs> I mean, I could easily get like a knife, like a, like a, a big knife that could be fatal yeah. but i don't have access to swords i don't have a sword i have i have a um it's a folding it looks like a pocket knife like it folds like a pocket knife uh-huh. but it's actually like a box cutter blade okay um i have one of those chandel i'm I afraid to ask purse. <laughs> do you have any swords handy if if the need comes no swords okay a few better knives but that's about it yeah i don't i just don't have i don't and not that i don't know people with swords But okay. All right, then. He was a Power Ranger. What do I know? He was a Power Ranger. Uh, Let's see. Henderson Police. Customer at Chuckles on Green Street. Follow this. (sighs) Customer at Chuckles on Green Street came in and prepaid for $10 in gas. Okay. Then pumped $15 extra and now says she doesn't have the money to pay for the rest. (laughs) I thought you can't do that. Any, yeah, I don't know how that works. Any, I'm pretty sure when you prepay, it stops. The, it cuts off. I almost want to blame the gas station because it should stop her at the $10 mark. One would think so. And then we have, last but not least, Rob, 700 block of Delaware. Female caller states neighbors are trying to kill her through the computer. Officers en route to check her oh. welfare. <laughs> or maybe they're just making threats through the computer. I, I don't know. But either way, I want to think that they're going to come through the computer and... Well, we learned at the Super Bowl what to do if that happens. Just pour some Pepsi in your, I'm sorry, some Coca-Cola into your computer. Is that what you do? And it will make everybody in there happy. Excellent. Good stuff this week.